Let me also look up some favorite Arnold movies, and maybe there's something there. Well, Conan the Barbarian, yeah. Commando, yeah. Predator, Kindergarten Cop, yeah. Junior, mm -hmm. Twins. Um, You're a fan. You're good. I'm not a fan. I'm a super fan. Now, let me ask you honestly, ladies, how many of you have ever wished you had the cheekbones of a supermodel? And I'm ready to show Tyra, I know what you sell, woman. Now we use one of our four fast, fierce fingers. Yes! Now, the faster you dab, the better you blend, honey. Matt Eisman is my hero. I came, I saw, I contoured. Welcome our first guest from American Ninja Warrior. He's a doctor, Matt Eisman. Wow. <laughs> Polyphenol, all it is, is a scientific term for a naturally occurring plant nutrient. Dr. Matt really got technical with the phenobarbosols, or what was the phen... <laughs> the phen... phen what it? Uh, Matt, they also really liked you as the doctor hammering home the message of the healthy heart. Tell me how long you need so we can all get on board with this idea and understand exactly how it's going to look. By the time we John? should, I'll be ready. John. John? This is like the worst experience of my entire life. What's wrong? It's a joke. I was shocked. Boy George pulled his first real diva move. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Apparently, he did. You know, John clearly doesn't want any help. Listen, I, I think I think we're going to go through some really frustrating times here, OK? We're all going to get pissed. We're all going to want to leave. But I think if we do, we're weaker as a team. Did I just sign my death warrant? It was like, you know, get on with this. Why are we taking so long? So as you can see, we get along great. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the man won. Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh. Matt. You're the project manager. <laughs> You're gonna get the total of fifty thousand dollars. What's your favorite charity? I feel like I'm Conan the Barbarian on the Wheel of Doom. This is how I get huge. <laughs> I learned some new things about Matt. He has a great attitude. He's just genuinely a nice person. And I didn't realize that he was a stand-up comedian. I feel like Danny Trejo in Machete. That was a big one, right? This one. Mine's not so big. My girlfriend told me I have a little machete. Um, like I said, I learned a lot about Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Lovitz isn't here, but $500 is on behalf of him from the Laugh Factory. Maybe they really think he is funny. Who knew? I'm joking. You're welcome. We're all going to do the largest booty burn class in history. See how much fun that's going to be? Ugh. <laughs> right? <laughs> And let me tell you, it was a great workout. I can barely feel my ass right now. I'm getting massaged by Boy George while watching Brooke Burke burn her booty. <laughs> this is very <laughs> surreal. You haven't answered my question. Oh. Do you have rhythm? OK, you're good. You're good. We got this. OK, quick, microphones, yes. <laughs> oh, this is for, oh my god. <laughs> um. Who are you excited to see? So the crowd shows up, and it is go time. Brooke, you were not doing a booty burn without me. Who's your project manager? Well, we didn't need a sorting hat to figure out that I was going to be the project manager. Uh -oh. I went to medical school, but if I could do it all over again, I would go to Hogwarts. So this, for me, is an unbelievable opportunity. I'm ecstatic for the chance to come up with something amazing for this experience. Wrap it up, Matt. On a scale of like 1 to 10, how big a Harry Potter fan I am, I'd say nerd. Nerd. Nine and three quarters platform today, are we? Uh, well, what holds me? The Golden Stitch is part of Quidditch. It's what Harry goes as a seeker. That's what he yes. captures. It's the most iconic game within the Harry Potter world. This is one of the greatest days of my life. It's just incredible. Not now, Edward. It's just incredible getting to experience the magic. Yes, I miss Lovitz too, but not that much. Guys, you're going to walk. I'm just going to take my broom. So we'll meet back at the war room, OK? All right, awesome. <laughs> what right happened here. to Dr. Matt? That doesn't look good, Matt. You know, I'd love to be Gryffindor, because that's where Harry Potter was. We can talk about that later. Yeah! 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 So our task this week is to design and create a themed digital brochure promoting the wizarding world of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood. I 
Accio Firebolt. Shoot. I love Harry Potter. My favorite spell is Avada Kedavra, which is one of the unforgivable curses. But the Nimbus like 2000, a very quality broom, but clearly the Firebolt is next level. Victor uh, Severus Kong Snape uses... was actually a misunderstood character. And the Slytherins Rick... would be messing with me all the time. Um, so I agree his death is something that haunts me. I think Rubius Hagrid always good. spoke to me, because he was kind of a big oaf that people didn't think was kind of bright. Gentlemen, I bid you all good morning. Thank you for joining me on this magical day. Today is presentation day. We have to present our brochure to not only Tracy and the execs, but also a crowd of Harry Potter fans. Look, I'm a performer. I love having a crowd, and I love talking about something that I truly believe in that I'm passionate about. And honestly, I believe this is where I can shine. Thanks to Universal Studios, they brought Hogwarts to Hollywood! So without any further ado, I give you a special edition of The Daily Prophet, the newspaper of record for the wizarding world! It's in 3D. I got to ride this ride yesterday. It is so immersive. I thought a Dementor was going to steal my soul. <laughs> and no, Patrick, a Dementor is not a Hollywood agent. <laughs> they are the dark guards that protect Azkaban <laughs> prison. Seriously, somebody educate this guy. Matt is so excited. He was amazing. He was really like a little boy. But I also was worried that he was losing himself in the experience. There's a photo up there. I'm sitting next Matt, to my best friend. Matt, I know you could talk about Harry Potter all day long. Yeah. Can we show him the next slide? Is the next slide going? <laughs> I'm waiting on you. Well, let's go to the next slide, because it's not enough to taste the magic. You guys are going to get to live the magic. You can go to Glad Rags. You can get the robes of your favorite house, which many of you already have. You can get outfitted in Quidditch. But most importantly, you can go to Ollivander's, you can get a wand, and you can cast your very first spell. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood will make you believe the magic is real. Now, Matt, there are two things I know about you now. One is that you're a big Harry Potter fan. <laughs> and the other one is, I understand now why you're not married. <laughs> What did the executives think so, of Arete? Team Arete, first of all, the executives thought that, Matt, you were an incredible showman. You had the crowd fully engaged. They thought that your knowledge of the brand and enthusiasm was just overwhelming. They loved the creativity of the newspaper, thought it was very organic for the brand. And they thought, overall, they loved your brochure and said they would definitely use your brochure and your idea. They just loved it. Well, I think that you heard it. I think the answer is clear. That Team Arete won. And Team Arete won a total of $50,000 that's your favorite charity. You deserve it. Well, Matt, you're the only one that has won that twice. So congratulations. And this guy is a maniac. Come He's going to be unbelievable. Get up! Yes. Come on! <laughs> Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Can't wait to get out there and do that. Yeah. Coming into the task, I knew if there was anything that we had to present, that Matt was the guy. I mean, he's an amazing host. He brings so much energy to what he does, and he loves it. And that's something that's infectious. I have four words for you. We love this team. Where would you come up with some like guy that? who runs around like a crazy man? Hey, Clipper fans! We're giving away Central Limited Edition t-shirts tonight only. Get on your feet! I didn't say you could sit down on your feet! I'm going full bomber in front of this crowd. And when you see 15,000 people start to respond to you, 
I felt like a rock star. I'm Matt Eisman, host of American Ninja Warrior. We got four words for you. We love this team. Say it with us. We love this team. Again. We love this team. And I didn't even have to take my shirt off. Well, here's to the final four. <sighs> The final four, come on the in final here. final four. You know, eat, drink, and be married for tomorrow. Someone's got to die. I would like Matt to defend himself. Matt. Okay. This is the first time I've been back here. I think my record speaks for itself. George and I are tied for the most wins. Every week, I've been singled out, either by you or the brand or the project manager. Every week. You've never had to tell me to work hard, Governor. I heard you from the beginning. You said if you want to be here, you fight. You don't be afraid to fail. You take chances. Another thing you do in business, you support those people around you. You make them better. That's why I have the best record in this game, and that's why this is the first time I've been back here. Every day I've been here, I've fought my ass off, so I'm still standing. What the hell? No, he's going to come in here, and he's going to fire all of us. Well, as these two have shown, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Don't feel, whoever I pick, that you're a loser. Okay. <laughs> Why would you even say that? No, we weren't then, thinking we were losers until you brought I just, it up. I just want to make sure that you understand that. So you, you, you're not a loser. So Why are you saying that directly to me, Governor? <laughs> well, there's a reason for that. You've done an extraordinary job. Yes. And you've been consistent from the beginning. You've made me really proud. Obviously, one of you will become the next celebrity apprentice. It is now the final task, or as I would call it, Judgment Day. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard! Oh, What's up? I'm going to hear Wilson Phillips tomorrow night. Congratulations. You as well. Good it luck really, with everything. It yeah. really is a pleasure. I wish you Absolutely. the best. Absolutely. Good luck with everything. We I'm did good things for, for our charities. I look forward to seeing what you do. I'm excited. And I, you as well. <laughs> Can I come up and sing with you, please? I've no. been dying to do it. No, no. no. So coming into this competition, I consider myself an underdog. I was definitely one of the least famous people out here. And to go against an icon like Boy George, I don't care what happens in the end tonight, I feel like a winner. Come on in! Welcome! Let's start this party. 100,000 What? 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 Very noisy. They make a lot of noise. <laughs> Hello. You look refreshed, Governor, but I think you're ready for a little vacation. Absolutely. So I would like to give you a passport here. Is this a trip to Mars? Total recall! You think I'm not going to get that? <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> exactly. Two weeks. Two weeks. You know I'm going to quote you to you That's all night long yeah, when you invite it, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our finale event. <laughs> Some of you are looking at me wondering who I am. My name is Matt Eisman. Woo! Thank you. I host a reality show on NBC. Woo! I know a lot of people are saying, what can that lead to? It has led me to the finale of Celebrity Apprentice. I cannot believe I am standing here. And I got to say, what feels so great is for the past month, I've been talking to people. They've been saying, what are you doing? I have to say, I'm on a show where I'm trying not to hear you're fired. <laughs> That's not what I said, though. I said, where I'm trying not to hear you're fired. I terminated you. Get the chopper. Why are you still here? Do it. Do it now. I started off with something people might call risky. But honestly, you only get so many shots in life to do what you dreamed of. So here I am. I'm right here. What are you waiting for? Do Arnold to Arnold. Oh, my god. <laughs> I got to say, doing that gives me a headache. It's not a tumor. Like I, said, I love Matt. He's very annoying, dude. I, know. <laughs> I don't know. That's always risky to impersonate the governor to the governor. I may be out of a job soon. But the good news is that just means I could go on a vacation. When you think about your vacation, all you need to do is think about the one destination that can truly take you everywhere. Our ads didn't turn out quite as beautiful as I would have liked, but I loved our message. One destination that takes you everywhere. To me, that's the through line that's gonna show how much thought we put into this. And that's the message that they want. So I wanted to tell you guys why I'm competing for the Arthritis Foundation. Because um, for me, it's personal. 
In 2002, I had pain um, in my joints and hands. And shortly after, it spread to my feet, to my back, and to my neck. The pain became so intense, the stiffness so great, I could barely get out of bed. And for the first time in my life, I stopped working out. In the course of a year and a half, I ended up gaining 55 pounds. And I became a shell of who I was. And then I was told that I had rheumatoid arthritis. And I was lucky. I started treatment and I responded. And I got my life back. But there are people who don't respond to the medications. And that's why I'm here, to try to be an inspiration and raise money for the Arthritis Foundation. So thank you, Governor. Thank you for a kick-ass opportunity. It's not easy when you're told you have a chronic disease and there's no cure. And you're going to be on treatment in some form or another for the rest of your life. There was supposed to be a lot more comedy here. I know, I'm sorry. So I love having this platform to tell everyone out there who's sick there's light at the end of the tunnel. And hopefully we raise more money and, and that light gets brighter and someday we find a cure. I couldn't have been happier with the variety show. It had comedy, it had the ninjas, it had Wilson Phillips, but mostly it gave me a chance to talk about the Arthritis Foundation. I feel like no matter what, I've already won. Remember, when it's your vacation, there is one destination that will take you everywhere. So hold on, baby. First of all, like, he's a gorgeous man, tall, fine as hell, you know? And, and, and so to, to show that vulnerability connected to that just made you even more beautiful. So, Matt, the executives thought that you performing was super engaging and super fun, and they loved the party and the animals that you've organized. Uh, they also thought that the passport uh, was a great special touch. Overall, they felt you stayed on theme, so they were very, very pleased. And Matt, you raised $573,329. Yes! <laughs> so much for the camp fundraiser. <laughs> Amazing. And you surprised everyone. Time after time, again and again, you had the most wonderful presentations, very articulate. You used your doctor title, your comedy routine, everything. And then, of course, on the end, you really exploded when you did your final presentation and you just blew everyone away. And I just have to say that, Matt, you are the new Celebrity Apprentice. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank and you, good Governor. Luck with everything. When do we start? <laughs> you kicked some serious butt. The first week, I was like, that's one to watch right there. Exactly. <laughs> He's no joke. The things we got to do to have the run of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, to get to put makeup on for Tyra Banks, to get to record a song with Boy George and Vince Neil, and to get to raise over half a million dollars for my charity, it's been awesome. And, and I got to do it with my idol, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So pretty much dream come true. We oh. raised a million dollars together. That is wonderful. Yeah. But it's you so nice. are the new celebrity princess. Yes. I hope Arnold really gives me a job. 